Hey guys, and welcome back to another great video with me, JP, here at Coins Explained, a DCP production or digital currency professionals. We are a digital media company and we're trying to bring crypto and gaming together, explain that to you guys and bring more and more people into this awesome metaverse that we are exploring. Speaking of metaverses, that leads me into our topic today. We're talking about the mana token and Decentraland. So this will be our part one in a two part video. Uh, in this video, we're going to go into the mana token and kind of go over its history, its market cap and things like that. And in part two, we're actually going to be diving into the Decentraland platform. We're going to be making some of our own virtual objects, maybe. And also, I'll show you how to sign up to that. Anyways, if you enjoy our content, please remember to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell to keep up to date with all of our latest videos. Once again, with all that being said, I'm JP. This is Coins Explained, a DCP production. And our topic today, the MANA token. So let's dive into the topic today by answering a few simple questions. Number one, what exactly is mana? Number two, how exactly does it work? And number three, how can you get some for your very own? So the mana token is the base token of the platform Decentraland and Decentraland is essentially a virtual world powered by Ethereum where you can design your own objects, build up your own avatars and build on these plots of land, your own virtual experiences. Uh, essentially, you can think of the metaverse from Snow Crash, if you've read that book, or if you're a fan of Adventure Time, I would describe it sort of the virtual world that BMO takes over when uh, the three of them, Finn, Jake, and BMO, go and visit the humans uh, on their the Isles episodes. Decentraland was launched by its founders, Esteban Ordano and Irie Malik, in 2017 with an initial coin offering of $24 million. Sorry if I seem like I stumbled there, but pronouncing Ari Milik has taken me about four recordings of this video. Decentraland was launched in a closed beta in 2019 and then was released to the public in February of 2020. Since then, it's grown into a variety of digital scenes, uh, landscapes, and basically entire virtual worlds. If you are a fan of price predictions, which I personally am not, but if you are, I will do a little price prediction here. Uh, this is just information I'm pulling off of CoinCora. Um, you can find them, they do a lot of price predictions and that sort of thing. Um, again, I'm not a financial advisor, so please don't take this to heart as my own personal advice, but uh, there are basically mana has been on a bullish trend for quite a while now and if predictions are true and this carries on the current trend that it's at we could expect it to a double or triple in uh, potential value by the end of 2021 once again not a financial advisor now all of this kind of brings us over to number two which is how exactly does it work so uh, Decentraland actually runs on two tokens. So there's the mana token, which is the ERC-20 token, uh, and that is burned to purchase these plots of land token, which is an ERC-721 token, if I'm not mistaken. Um, other than just being used to burn and buy these new plots of digital land, you can also use the mana token to purchase a bunch of virtual assets and in-game items to customize your avatar or your own virtual space. Uh, this is pretty interesting and exciting because not only can you use, say, the builder to use existing in-game assets, but if you have a little bit of technical knowledge, you can actually design your very own assets and uh, using all those developers available on the platform itself. So now that we know a little bit about mana, about what it is and how it works, this will bring me around to number three, which is where can you get some for your very own? Now, if you're using Decentraland itself, I'd highly recommend you get yourself a MetaMask wallet. I will show you how to get one of those in the upcoming video. But just to, if you just want to get the mana coin itself, well, you're in luck because it is available on Binance. Now, if you haven't signed up to Binance already, I highly recommend you do. Uh, we have a referral link in the description that will get you 10% off trading fees. So if you haven't done that, please sign up today. If you have, well then you're pretty much all set. You can go on there. I believe it's exchangeable for Ethereum, Bitcoin, and even just USD. Uh, so please check that out. If you want to purchase some mana coin for your own today, you can do that on the website um, or you can do it through the app if you've downloaded that onto your phone. Yeah, so basically that was a lot of the information about the mana coin itself. Um, I hope that was informative for you. In our part two, we're going to actually go into the Decentraland platform. 
where I'm gonna create a new account so you can see how that's done. I'm also gonna show you how to sign up for a MetaMask wallet. And we're gonna go into kind of the details of the site so you'll get to see how some of these digital assets work in the actual game itself. If you guys made it this far into the video, I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, once again, this was part one in our two part video. Uh, this one was exploring the coin and our part two will be jumping into Decentraland. I'll be signing up to that and showing you all the details and diving into that platform. So make sure you stick around for that video to come out. Uh, once again, um, we are a Digital Currency Pros production. We are Coins Explained. I'm JP. I really hope you've enjoyed the video today. Uh, please also, if you haven't signed up to Binance, you can check out our referral link down below in the description for 10% off trading fees. And now that you've done that, you can go ahead and buy some mana coin for your very own. Anyways, guys, thank you once again so much. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you all in part two. Keep it crypto, everybody. Hi, you guys. Did my script just get deleted? That's impossible. So if I seem like I stumbled there, but pronouncing Ari Milik has taken me about four recordings of this video. So <laughs> we can include that or not. I don't mind. Can we can. Team. And then, why am I being so stilted? So please uh, stick around. Um, the video will be up very soon. I'm um, sorry, I burped there. <laughs>